I just heard it's, it's, it's quite quick, so I'm really looking forward to it. It's super quick, you have a quarter mile and then okay. also some space to break, so let's do it. Okay, count on three, two, one, go! Wow! <laughs> 100! Wow, it's so quick! Wow! Wow, and it stops like crazy! To, to, to zero. That, that was insane! Woo! Unbelievable! I want to do it again! <laughs> It's super, super fast. It's the fastest Audi ever that I've driven. Amazing. See, I told you. Okay, let's try it right again. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Woohoo! 150! 200! Wow! Let's do it again! Dennis, just wow! My mind is full blown by the acceleration of this car. This thing accelerates over and over again, super fast. How is it possible? For us, it was very important to have a car that is reproducible every time you accelerate. You don't want to have a different acceleration every time you as a Formula E driver, you know, you need to have the same performance all over and over. So we have two PSM synchronized engines. So two engines, front and rear? Front and rear. Yeah. high performance engines and we have a very sophisticated uh, cooling system of course so we know exactly where you have the uh, biggest heat and where we need to to bring the cooling to so yeah, we can so decide battery or engines or the pulse inverter what needs to be cooled and also on the other side for braking we know how much energy we need in in the brakes or how much energy we have and so we can control the cooling to specifically cool either the brakes or the, the high voltage system, so that gives you the outstanding performance on this that, car. That's really, really impressive and really, it accelerates and brakes extremely well.